Hi. Boy, Kelsey made these changes? Oh, Maria, hi. Or did you help her with this? She stayed up all night. I didn't touch a word. This is remarkable. Well, she's a bright young girl. I wish she'd get a little more sleep in her condition. <laughs> Brooke, how about that teen internship program? Can we revive it and put her on staff for the time being while she's here? Well, she'd need a mentor. Are you volunteering? Mm -hmm. And I got a project that's perfect for her. The situation at Pine Valley High. What situation? Well, Laurel Dillon's brother came out to his class just before Christmas. He came out? You mean he... Yeah. The new history teacher? He's gay. We're not just being nice to you because we want your baby. Edmund obviously thinks you're very talented or he would never have even suggested the internship program. I've already proved where my talent lies and it's not between my ears. Oh, Kelsey, come on, don't be so hard on yourself. Yes, you made a life-changing error in judgment, but it turned out to be a blessing for us. And I think for you in the long run, because you made your decision based on what's best for the baby. You are a very generous and giving young woman. And we're really grateful. She lays it on a little thick, but she's right. You guys are too good to be true. Hey, hi. we're all set. Kelsey, hi. Listen, you can start today. You just have to see Anne in personnel. Great. Congratulations. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not interested. Kelsey, listen. I read the changes in the article that Edmund gave you, and I, I agree with him. Look, I said I don't want it, okay? Just give it to somebody else. But, honey, let me buy you a cup of coffee. Excuse us. Well, deep. You remind me of someone. Spare me. Teenage girl. Rebellious, stubborn, and very often her own worst enemy. <sighs> let me guess. You, when you were my age, right? Give me a break. Brooke, thanks for being nice, but you don't have to dream up some job just so that Edmund and Maria will still have a baby. I'm not going to change my mind. I'm not. It's not the reason I'm offering you this internship. And even if it were, what difference would it make to you? Why don't you just take the opportunity and see where it leads? Because I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. It's not about feeling sorry for you. It's not pity. I mean, Edmund thinks that you have a spark, that you have a gift. And he is not faking it. It's impossible for him to do that. I've known him for a long time, Kelsey. He's honestly impressed. He thinks you're very good. He believes in you. You know, and for someone like Edmund Gray to believe in you, it's a pretty wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. 